there was not one person that says they want to stay the same. Every single person across the board, they wanted to, you know, either get more fit or get, you know, more financial gain or better lifestyle or better living situation or better apartment or better whatever the hell. Okay. So, um, I want to encourage you guys to start documenting some of the stuff I'm about to give you. Uh, you want to, you want to, you want to write this down. Okay. All flat lines fall. Okay. So what that means is if I'm making a hundred thousand dollars in 1984, the year I was born, if I'm making $100,000 in 1984, and then I'm making $100,000 in 2004, and I'm making $100,000 in 2024, am I still making the same money? No. No. Inflation. What else? There's, also, there's, there's actually external competition. There's businesses and competition that's rising around me. Economy. Who knew we were going to have the Lehman collapse in 2008? Who knew we were going to have the fucking COVID? Okay, so you're either growing or you're shrinking. Nothing ever stays the same. We are in an ocean of motion. We're on a fucking blue planet right now that circles the sun that's circling the fucking Milky Way. Nothing ever stays the same. Okay, so you're either growing or expanding. The reason why I tell you that is because now it's time to grow. Okay, so all flat lines fall. That is the datum. That is the datum. Okay, all right. In Wise Consulting, which uh, people that coach me, this is what you call a normal, a slight upward uh, slope. Okay, so Jose, if I'm uh, uh, an appointment setter and I set 20 appointments uh, two weeks ago, and then last week I spent 30 appointments, and this week I do 40, that's good. Okay, if I made 100 grand in 1984, and then 100 grand uh, in 1985, then 110 grand in 1986, that's good. That's normal. That's normal. Okay, so this is what you got to do. Actually, let me back up. And I want everybody to be honest. Has anybody felt this year stressed out, weren't feeling it, perhaps you had anxiety, perhaps you had that little pressure on your fucking chest, it was hard, fucked up situation, and you're just like, damn, I'm not really feeling it today, but fuck it, I'm gonna get out of bed, I'm gonna go do the deal. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, every, c congratulations, you're human. Congratulations, you're human. So watch this, this is how it works. So Miguel, we had a kid named Mundir. Okay, and Mandir was 17 years old when he met me. He joined the Closer Academy, and Mandir had to sign a waiver to join our program. So Mandir thought that he could fucking continue to pimp the system we put together. Mandir stayed as an appointment setter, okay, for two years. That's Mandir. He figured out a way to get a lot of affiliates, okay, and he figured out a way to fucking do the least amount of work and make the most money. Okay, it's cool when you're 17 and you have a six-figure income. It's cool when you just turned 18, Mundir, and you actually uh, got your mom her own apartment, and you got your Mercedes Benz, and you got your own apartment. That's super cool. I told Mundir, you cannot be an appointment setter fucking for another year. It won't work. It won't work. Why will it not work? Because you're either growing or you're shrinking. You can't fucking be an appointment setter for another year. You have to become a closer. Then from a closer, you become a director. From a director, you become a fucking VP. From a VP, you become an executive. All flat lines fall, okay? So what happened with Mandir, you guys still with me? Everybody good? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So what happened with Mandir is, Mandir, he wasn't tripping on the money he was making no more. He, didn't want, he wasn't feeling it no more. It's like, he's, he, he, Mike, I feel burnt out now. Mike, I've been doing this for two years. I feel fucking, what happened is, he was playing a small ass game. You can't stay the same, my dear. Jose, you can't stay the, the appointment center. It won't work. Cisco, you cannot be you know, the sales manager or sales director with, with two people on the, on, on the squad. It won't work, bro. All flat lines fall. Okay, so now let me, I'm going to start giving you guys a game now. I'm going somewhere with this. You want to write this down. After every new level, there is a new devil. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. Write this down. At every new level, there is a new what? Devil. Devil. What does that mean? What the hell am I talking about? Every, somebody besides Miguel. Yes, sir. New challenges. Different, different challenges on every level. And what is the new level? What is the new, new season? New season. Okay, watch this. So I promise you, Elon Musk has new challenges 
and new problems he has to solve more than my guy, Sammy, who's an appointment setter. I also know that he's in, in, in a different level uh, when you talk about mindset, awareness, obviously financial status. We're talking about Elon Musk. Okay, when I was living in a $900 apartment, okay, and I had to get to a new level financially, it, could be, it doesn't have to be financial, it could be mental, spiritual, okay, it could be relationship, okay, it definitely can be financial. When I wanted to go from that one step to the next step, I had to solve the new devil. What's the devil? The problem. Okay, so I have a fucking, uh, you know, $6,000 Honda Civic, and I'm like, I want to drive a Lamborghini. I live in a $900 apartment. I want to live in that luxury Rio Promenade. That's $3,200, okay? So in order to get that, I had to solve that problem. In this case, I had to learn how to earn more money. At every new level, there's a new devil. Okay, you guys still with me? Yeah. So what am I talking about? So what we got to do is get very clear on what your 12 months looks like. The more capable the executive, Cisco, the farther he or she can see into the future. I know exactly where I'm at, where I'm going. Okay, I know exactly where I'm at, where I'm going over the next 12 months with Lou Cisco. Okay, 12 months, 12 years, 24 years. I know exactly where I'm at, where I'm going. So what am I talking about? Okay, right here, this is Stephanie's Uris, red. This is Jarek's, okay? This is Jarek's, hold on, let me get my thing, okay? This is Jarek's apartment. Jose, apartment, okay? Joseph, lifestyle, Ricardo, all that. So now, money is not everything. Okay, you wanna write this down, purpose. You don't have to know your purpose right now, but if you do, great. Okay, purpose is the, the, there's a goal, then there's a deeper meaning, why? The purpose, the purpose, the purpose. I have two purposes, okay, two main ones. One is to help those off the left behind, and two is to free my family and their people. That's my purpose, which means, like, I don't want my great-great-grandkids to fucking have to struggle. So in this lifetime, I'm gonna accumulate a lot of wealth and property like I'm already doing now, okay, in apartment complexes. So when I die, one day, I can hand it to my daughter who will go to my great, 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 great grandkids. You guys still with me? Everybody good? Yes. So what the fuck am I talking about? Ricardo, how the hell can I quit as an appointment setter? How the hell can I quit as a closer if the fucking purpose is here, right? So Mandir, he wasn't working on purpose. He was working on fucking, let me grab cash. That can be your purpose, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so when you're not feeling it, all you have to do is get back to your purpose. Why did you take that first step? Okay, and it doesn't have to be this deep, it's like, fuck, I'm not feeling it today, dude. It's hard, it's tough. I'm stressed the fuck out. Shit, my cell phone, broke. Gotta buy a new one, flat tire. Fine, you're a human being. But all you have to do is focus on this. If I'm not feeling it, I got a little ass company with 100 people, if I'm not feeling it, how the fuck am I gonna quit here? I've done nothing yet, I've done nothing. If, you, any, if you, any of you guys see me on the internet and you think I've fucking done something, you don't know me yet, because I haven't done shit. I need to go free my great grandkids and Miguel's great grandkids. That's what I really gotta go do. That's what gets me excited. So what am I talking about? So now, Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Miguel, true story. I figured out at UEI College when I was a career advisor, I figured out that if I became the number one career advisor, literally, okay, I could use something called leverage. I could shove it in the face of the director and say, hey, I'm number one. Time to promote me, bitch. It was a guy, by the way. Okay, listen, you, I knew if I became number one career advisor, and I did in the first month out of 250 people, I knew I could become a director. Hey, Mr. Director, look at my numbers. I'm number one in the whole company. Mike, there's no director roles. Well, let's make one. Let's make an associate role. Okay, within a year, I became a director. I knew if I became number one director, I, I could become a regional. And actually, within two years, I became a fucking regional. I knew if I became a regional, okay, then I could become a president. And actually, within th year three in college, or excuse me, working at the college, I became a fucking president. These are the levels, these are the barriers you have to get through. 
So while everyone here is bitching at career UEI college, it's hard, it's tough, I can't do this, nobody's hiring right now. How the hell can I quit here or here when I'm already having a big goal, a big thing? So if your goals, okay, if you're not obsessed about your goals or your URIS or your apartment, if you're not obsessed about it, forget about it. It's not gonna happen. It, it, dude, Elon Musk is obsessed with fucking helping humanity. Jeff Bezos is obsessed. Oprah Winfrey is obsessed. Miguel de la Rosa is obsessed. If you don't have your fucking goals yet on your phone, or you don't have them on a vision board, or you don't ha if you're not writing them down, if you're not reminding yourself every fucking day, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It just, it won't happen. No one's gonna take your shit to the top of Success Mountain, and no one's gonna carry you. Kai Green, you have to save your own life. You have to save your own fucking life. But what I do know is that God given you a special talent or you wouldn't be here. I know who Miguel De La Rosa is. He's one of my dearest, closest fucking friends ever. I know the kind of person he is. I know he's serious. So what's the point? The point is this. Get very clear on this, okay? And start solving these problems in order to have that lifestyle, okay? I'm gonna go with something that I know a lot about, closing. Okay, so my name is Cisco, and I, I gotta get the C8, and I, got, I wanna get this fucking $8,000 a month apartment. So now that's 12,000. Fuck, okay, the next thing I wanna do is this. Next thing I wanna do is take care of my family. Next thing, so in order for me to live a life I want over the next 12 months, and I'm not gonna be done, I need to make, make it a quarter million. So now what do we have to do? You've already became a, the setter, you've already became the closer, you already showed that you can lead up people. How the fuck do we get like 10 people in your facility and then turn those into fucking five closers. And then how do we go stamp fucking DLR all across Arizona then all across the nation? And not only will you have a Corvette, you'll fucking have six Corvettes if you want six Corvettes. Why six? I bought six Lamborghinis in the last two years. So that's why six. And I'm not even fucking as cool as you. It's time to get to the next, bro. It's time to get obsessed on this, your lifestyle your purpose, it's time to get obsessed with this. And I'll know when you're obsessed with this because you'll be like, yo, Miguel, or is that ugly about the whack? Who, Mike, fool? Dude, I got 10 questions for him. When you going up to AZ? You know, I know John Pena, Casey Cox, all these little motherfuckers got Lamborghinis in their 20s. I need to get my fucking C8. Here's 10 questions for them, bro. Miguel, you're supposed to hit me yesterday, you didn't. What did they say? I need the program to get there. Okay, what are we talking about here? All flat lines fall, my dear. You can't be, you can't stay here. You're growing or you're shrinking. You're expanding or you're dying. After every new level, there's a new devil. I show you those sales guys because I had to solve that problem so I can live the life I wanted to live. So I'm now at eight figures. I need to get to fucking nine. Okay? Like, I, I got real estate right now, but I need to get fucking 10,000 doors for my daughters. I need to solve that. Okay? So what I'm saying is, everybody, okay, wake up. Get serious. Someone's gonna do this shit. Someone's gonna fucking do it. I got 21 year olds on my team printing fucking money. And might as well be you. Ricardo, might as well be you. Jose, might as well be you. Stephanie, Jarek, Joseph, okay, Cisco, once again, and might as well be you. It's time to get fucking serious. I don't, I don't feel it, okay? My fucking chest hurts right now. I don't give a shit. I'm here. I got to go free my great grandkids. Okay? So, I got to go to downtown San Diego and I got to go with, with one of my coaches. Uh, hopefully, this does something for one of y'all. Okay? Whatever it is, I, 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 I'm here. I support you. One of the fucking most genuine people I've ever met in my entire life is Miguel. And there's not a whole lot I, I would not do for this guy. I trust this dude in a dark fucking room with a knife. And I'm not trying to gas my, my man, but I, I, I think it's, it, it, this is a real opportunity, you know, to take advantage of the opportunity during the lifetime of the opportunity with Miguel here. So that's all I got. Miguel, cool? Thank you. Much love, y'all. Yeah, anybody, anybody have any questions, like for real, like take advantage. We don't get Mike every time. Does anybody have any questions that you like wanna just ask them anything?
Um, how do you get your attitude in check when that's something that's problematic for you? Yeah, that's a great question. Okay, so there's a couple things. So as soon as you have an, okay, so first off, thoughts are things. Let's talk about the mechanics of how, how the mind works. Let's talk about the mechanics of how the mind works. Okay, so thoughts are things. Okay, so what that means is, okay, thoughts, this is how it works. I'm gonna give you the, 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 literally how things happen in the world. Thoughts create actions, right? Actions create results, results shape your reality. It's 14 years ago, I see this pretty girl, Mexican girl. Damn, that's a fucking pretty girl. Thought, boom. Action, went up to her. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mike. Hey, I'm Deanna. Oh my gosh, nice to meet you. So, how do you like it here? Oh, great. Hey, you wanna like, uh, go grab a bite sometime? That was my thought, that was my action. My result is we went to go grab a bite. The result that day was I felt like I'd known her my whole life. My reality today is that we are married and we just had our third child nine days ago. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, that means is if you can control your thoughts, you can control your reality. I'm not good at making new friends. You're damn right you're not. Uh, I'm kind of introverted, which is fine. You're damn right you are. I'm not good at math. I, you know, I can never, I'm, I don't have those genetics. You're, you're damn right. Okay, how do you feel about, you know, your exam on Friday? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I, you're fucking right. So what I did is I just started fucking lying. I started lying to myself. I'm a millionaire. I'm fucking driving Lamborghini. I, and then you put a little bit of action behind it and then you fucking start putting a little skill behind it from your fucking development and it starts to happen. I'm gonna give you a poem. I'm gonna give you a poem right now. I know you know. I know you. Believing, believing, believing. You will be living what you believe in, although you will be lying. Anything you tell yourself about a future based outcome, you made it up. If you tell yourself that people like to pay you, you made it up. If you tell yourself that people don't like to pay you, you made it up. So if you're going to make up stories about your future, doesn't it make sense to make up stories that serve you versus stories that do not? What the fuck am I talking about? Wow. What the fuck? I'm going to go on a date with my wife next week because, you know, she's recovering. And I guarantee I'm like, hey, I can't wait to see you. We're going to have so much fun. I looked at the reviews. Fucking dinner's going to be awesome. It hasn't fucking happened yet. What if the waiter is an asshole? What if there's fucking a long wait? What if the food is garbage? But we're positive people, we're optimistic. So if you make up a story about an outcome that has not happened yet, doesn't it make sense to make up stories that serve you versus stories that do not? Thoughts are things. So I just saying fucking, I, that's why vision board is important. That's why running your goals are important. That's why putting on personal development is fucking important. So now that's how it works. As soon as you have a negative thought, you fucking hush that voice and instantly replace, replaced it with a positive thought, instantly. It's the fucking alarm clock going off at 4.45 and you're like, snooze button, get up out of bed, take action, take action now. Okay, the single guys, okay, you're out, you see the fucking young lady, pretty, okay, beautiful girl, nice smile, whatever. Fuck, I'm nervous. That is the exact sign to take action right now before you even think about it. Fuck, it's a snooze button. That's it. Boom, do it now. And who wants to do the cold plunge? Ah, commit first. No guy asked me, you want to do the cold plunge? I was like, fuck yeah. Have you done it before? Fuck no. I would just jump right in. Before you think about it, take action. Go talk to the fucking beautiful boy. Go talk to the beautiful girl. Get the fuck out of bed. Okay? As soon as you have that thought, replace it with a, with a, with a positive thought. Okay, that's one. But now, that is just an instant handle. We want a long-term handle. We want something that's going to be lasting. Okay? How do we last? We got, you got to understand how the mind works. It's just a computer that receives information. It's just a computer. And most of it here, anyone here grow up rich? Okay, cool. I didn't grow up rich. All right? So now, what was taught to me? Money doesn't grow on trees. We can't afford that. Uh, I know you want that toy, but your birthday's in two months. Uh, you might, like... That's what I was taught, a limitation belief. So I had to go get rid of that information and I had to get new data. I had to go listen to fucking Eric Thomas. I had to go listen to Will Smith uh, motivation. 
I had to go listen to fucking, uh, uh, you know, Tony Robbins. And not only did I listen to it, I became obsessed with it. Okay, so I started fucking just going to sleep on it. I started putting my, my, my socks on the morning to it. I turned my car into a university with it. That's what I did. So here's here, Hans Zimmer motivation. I've listened to this thing fucking literally, I'm not kidding, over 200 times. This fucking thing right here. And I'm gonna drop a link right here. What? And this is even the thing about Kai Green I just told you guys. Okay, and what happened for me is I just became that fucking guy that's like, you could do anything. You could be great. Thoughts are things. You could fucking have the Lamborghini. I became the fucking people I've been studying. And then Mike came back on it. Whereas my swag and my delivery and my fucking presentation, my rapper, rapper meaning like the, you know, the outside. So to answer the question, as soon as you have that thought, okay, as soon as you have that, replace it with something else. The next thing is do sickening amounts of fucking mindset tuning. There's, there's the mindset tuning and then there's a technical. And I would do that. Okay, and, and you're fucking, you're human. You're human, it hurts, it's tough, but that's just the beauty of human beings. They're so resilient. Who knew, a uh, Vietnamese and Mexican, who knew that a Vietnamese woman, okay, in the 60s would come here and her husband would leave her and she didn't know fucking English and she would raise three girls by her fucking self in the hood in Linda Vista and then fucking uh, her daughters went off to become successful and now she had fucking 20 grandbabies and I'm one of them. People are so resilient, just the, the pain, just keep going through the pain. Cause on the other side of the fear and the pain is, is success. Just, you, keep, you, you, gotta, you gotta keep building that muscle. You gotta keep building that fucking muscle, that muscle, that muscle. Because I gotta go downtown fam, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to help y'all, serve y'all. God bless every one of y'all. And uh, Thank you for your appreciate, time. appreciate you always. Thank you fam, y'all be good, go kill it. Thanks so much. Peace. Thank